Hey, good morning, or afternoon, what time is it? It's 20 after 1, it's afternoon, and welcome to La Canzona Cucina, or other my singing kitchen, dot com, that's me. I'm Lou Pompilio, hi. Today we're going to make risotto, which is nice. This is risotto, this is the box risotto comes in, see it says risotto, which means rice, and this is what it comes in. It's an ungrained Italian rice, it's really, really nice, and it comes from Italy. Like the olive oil, like me, like everything around here. Hey. So, I use a cup and a half of risotto, which I have measured out into a cup and a half, right? I'm going to use that. i got to put some olive oil in a pan. Ooh, da da da! Which I'm going to do right now. Olive oil uh, time. And how much olive oil are we talking? Oh, probably a third of a cup. third of a cup. That sounds good and familiar. That sounds like about right. Ooh. Huh, and you got the mule nuts right here. Mm-hmm. But first, I need some garlic. And a knife. And asparagus. And garlic in there. And onion. Yep. And you're getting the garlic out. Just one clove, that's all you need. I'm going to crush it. I'm going to turn the heat on. Crush this garlic. That goes in. It peels much easier when you crush it that way. Then you cut off the end, and that's better. And then I'm just going to mash it up a little, dice it a little bit. Don't worry, Greg, I'm okay. No, Greg, nothing to worry about. It's okay, Greg, everything's wonderful. He's a professional. Do not try this at home. Do not try this at home. Do not attempt this. Do not walk away from the car. Leave the car. Leave the... Put your hands on the car. That's it. So I take this and I put this right in the pan. Right over and with the olive oil. that's going to start to sizzle pretty soon and then we can hear it sizzle and we'll feel much better because it'll be sizzling like Christmas. Hey. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let the, the garlic brown. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to add the pine nuts. Ah. And then I'm going to add... Uh, actually, I'm going to add... The onion first. The onion. The, pine. So we the onion first, which I will cut up right now. That. Dump it one time here, like this. Get rid of this piece. Okay. I'm gonna cut this up basically the same way we cut onions a lot. Usually I cut them in canoes like this, but I like to cut it like this, make it a little smaller, and cut the canoes this way. Same with this one. Oops. I said the onions always make me cry. Ah. Does, it, does the camera cry too? It does. I wonder if the camera cries too. Yeah. Not wonderful. Now, now I've got some asparagus. I'm going to wash the asparagus. Oh, okay. Such. That much? Yeah. Maybe not more. I didn't tell you this. But I like to, it's easier when you break it off because then it breaks it right where it's supposed to break. Mm -hmm. Instead of cutting them, because if you cut them, then you worry about cooking them. See, it just breaks where it's supposed to break. I'm going to add the onions. Here we go. Right into the olive oil. Hey. Nice. Mm -mm -mm. I put that into that. I got to use a pot holder because eh, I don't want to burn my hands. See now the garlic doesn't cook much. The garlic just stays about that brown. It doesn't really get cooked. It doesn't burn. Ooh. And they always take it on because you'll burn the garlic if you add it first. But I like to add the garlic first because I like the flavor it adds to the oil before I put anything else in the pan. Ah. But that's my taste. Mm -hmm. It may not be yours. But if it's not your taste, Some, well, something's got to be wrong. Something, no. <laughs> no, but I just, I like the brown first like that. Pine nuts, I'm going to add to this now. Oh, look at that. Like that. Cross these around with these brown a little bit, then we'll add the risotto. And then we'll make the stocks. And then we'll the risotto. Okay. So we're going to let it fry a little bit too. Let that sit for. Oh, get out of there. Mm -hmm. You too. Okay, let this stir around just for about two, three minutes. That's all. Not a long time. We'll put some wine in there to deglaze the pan, and after that, then I'll let some vegetable stock. It gets dark because I put a lot of tomato in it. Oh, nice. Dark, and it comes out pretty nice. 
This is ready. Hmm. Oh, not that much. Not that much. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's nice. That's nice. Ooh. It's an ice cube, so it's got to melt a little bit. Nice. A little bit of water. A little bit of cooking. We should be fine. Oh, that's great. And the vegetable stock that I use is concentrated. I cook it all the way down, so it's really like using a big thing of vegetable stock instead of water. I put the vegetable stock, I add the water, it turns out to be the same thing. So about one glass full? Yeah, about a glass full. Until it kind of cooks down and then I'll add more water to it. In about 16 to 20 minutes, this will be done. Frosted window panes, candles gleaming inside painted candy canes on the tree. Santa's on his way. He's filled with a sleigh with things, things for you and for me. It's a time of year when the world falls in love. Every song you hear seems to say, Merry Christmas. May you do his wishes come true. And this heart of mine, in three quarter time, wishes you and yours the same thing too. which I'll add to the pot for, like I said, the last few minutes of the cooking. And that's done. And they'll stay there until the risotto is almost finished, until I get about five minutes left of cooking time, and I'll put the asparagus in, and then it'll be all done. Put black pepper to this. And just a touch of red pepper. Of course, Ooh, I like red pepper. Just, just a touch. touch. Just like a little pinch like that. And let that cook in here with this. Let that simmer. I'm going to add some more water to this. Yeah, just about a full glass. Let that cook in some more. And we should be fine. Look at this. Asparagus. Can I put the asparagus in? Mix this in. Oh, look at that. That's going to be nice. Uh, and what is that you put around there? Basil. Basil. B A S I L. We're busting it all. Anyway, here we are with our risotto on our plates, ready to eat and enjoy ourselves a lot. This is my sister, as you well know, because she's been in a lot of things, and she always has things to say in the middle of editing. Even though she doesn't do the editing, my nephew has to do the editing, she still has to add something all the time. But we love her for that. That's why she's my sister. I'll talk to you later. Ciao. Enjoy yourself. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye-bye. Or maybe Happy New Year. Or maybe St. Valentine's Day. It's one of those days. Yeah. Yeah.